When we were within the threshold of the gate, which is the soul's perverse love diseases, making the crooked way seem straight. By the resounding eye, I heard it closed again, and if I had turned mine eyes to it, what excuse would have served for the fault? We were climbing through a cleft in the rock, which kept bending one way and the other like a wave that comes and goes when my leader began. Here there is need to use some skill in keeping close to this side, for that where it turns away and mismade. Our steps so scant that at the waning moon had regained its bed to sink to rest before we were forth from that needle's eye. But when we were free and out in the open above, where the mountain draws back, I weary and both uncertain of our way, we stopped on a level place, more solitary than a desert track, from its edge bordering on the void. To the foot of the lofty bank which rises sheer would measure three times a man's body And as far as my eye could make its flight Now on the left hand, now on the right The terrace there seemed to me the same Our feet had not yet moved on it when I perceived that the encircling bank which was perpendicular and impossible to climb was of white marble and adorned with carving such that not only Polycletus but nature would be put to shame there. The angel who came to earth with the decree of the many years wept for peace that opened heaven from its long interdict appeared before us so truly graven there in a gracious attitude that it did not seem a silent image one would have sworn he said of it for she was imagined there to have turned the key to open the supreme love and in her bearing she had this world imprinted Eke Anna Celidie As nearly as a figure stamped in wax Do not keep thy mind only on one part Said the kind master Who had me on that side of him Where his heart lies So that I turned my face And saw beyond Mary On the same side as he that prompted me Another story set on the rock, I went past Virgil, therefore, and drew nearer to that I might have it before mine eyes. There carved in the same marble were the carton oxen drawing the sacred ark on account of which men fear an office not committed to them. In front people appeared and the whole company Divided into seven choirs and made two of my senses say the one No, the other, yes, they sing in the same way At the smoke of the incense that was imagined there Eyes and nose were in contradiction with yes and no there the humbler psalmist went before the blessed Gersel girt up in dancing. And that time he was both more and less than king. Opposite figured at the window of a great palace, Macau looked on like a woman vexed and scornful. I moved my feet from where I was to imagine close at hand. Another story which I was gleaming, white beyond the cow. Depicted there was the glorious deed of the Roman prince, whose worth moved Gregory, 
To his great victory I mean the Emperor Trajan And the poor widow was at his bridal in a posture of grief and in tears The place about him seemed trampled and thronged with knights and the eagles On the gold above them moved visibly in the wind The poor woman among these all seemed to say Lord avenge me for my son that is dead For whom I am stricken and he to answer her Wait now till I return And she my lord like one whose grief is urgent If thou return not and he that is in my place will do it for thee And she what shall another's goodness avail thee if thou art forgetful of thine own? Be therefore now take comfort, for I must fulfill my duty before I go. Justice requires it, and compassion bids me stay, he for whose side nothing was ever new wrought. This visible speech new to us because it is not found here. While I was taking delight in gazing at the images of so great humilities, dear to sight to for their craftsman's shape, see on this side many people the poet murmured, but coming with slow steps they will direct us to the other stairs. My eyes which were looking intently were not slow in turning to him, being eager for new sights. But I would not have the reader fall away from good resolve, for hearing how God wills that the dead be paid, do not dwell on the form of the torment, think of what follows, think of the worst. It cannot go beyond the great judgment. Master, I began that which I see coming to us does not seem to me persons, and I know not what they are, so confused is my sight. And he answered me, the grievous nature of their torment doubles them to the ground. So that my eyes at first were in debate about them But look closely there and disentangle that Which comes beneath these stones Already thou mayest discern how each beats his breast O glorious Christians, weary wretches Who are sick in the mind's vision and picture Trust in backward steps do you not perceive that we are worms born to form the angelic butterfly that soars with judgment? Without defense, why does your mind float so high since you are as it were imperfect in sense, like the worm that is undeveloped? As for corbel to support ceiling or roof, a figure is sometimes seen joining the knees to the breast, which begets it from its unreality. Real distress in him that sees it in such a posture I saw these when I looked carefully. They were indeed bent down and more and less, and they had more and less on their back, and he that had the most patience in his looks seemed by his weeping to say, I can no more.